welcome to the Outer Worlds, where my name is Jared, and I'll be taking you on this mini little adventure here. Uh, as you can see, I popped out of my main screen, but the game stayed in the background. That is a very positive thing about this game that I will say. Uh, it gives me a little bit of Borderlands-esque, uh, Fallout, Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas, as well as some Mass Effect vibes here. It is actually made uh, not by Bethesda, who I originally thought the game was created by. It was actually made by Obsidian Entertainment. Uh, basically, if you don't really know much about this game, uh, basically you are on Thawd to help this crazy scientist take over these corporations that run this world. Uh, but Halcyon, you know, uh, a, a couple other ones out there. I totally forget their names and their acronyms as I'm playing through. But it gives me a lot of vibes of Obsidian said, what are some great single-player games that have some great elements and how can we put them into a single game? And it, it was almost kind of like they said, well, this works great from Fallout, this works great from New Vegas, and they put it into an amalgamation of the, of the game. The shoot loot mechanics are actually fairly interesting, uh, just because the, there are basically three different kinds of weaponry. There's light light weapons, uh, heavy or long range weapons, and then energy weapons. Uh, the stealing is fairly straightforward. If it's in red, you're stealing. If it's in white, you can freely take it. Uh, sometimes the things that you are collecting and there's some things that you're looting are empty. And um, the game itself just is, is fun to be a shooter. Now, I, I know my character looks a little ugly in the character creation. I thought she would be kind of more of a gothic-y cool chick. But here's the one drawback. This is the only time you are going to see your character is right here. Uh, Obsidian, this was the one negative drawback. If you don't, and I'm just showing you the light ammo, the, the heavy ammo, as, and the energy cell uh, ammo there as well too. But Obsidian, if you're going to let me customize my character, please, for the love of God, put them in more cutscenes. Uh, when I'm having conversations with people, I don't want to be looking directly at the people I'm talking to. You know, your your characters that you or your NPCs that come with you, they will actually join you in the little in the little side quest where they'll pipe in at, at certain times and talk, and you get to see them clear as day, but you never get to see yourself having a conversation with somebody else like in Fallout 4. Again, if you're gonna let me customize my character, I damn well better see them in a lot of the cutscenes or a lot of those interaction scenes just simply because that's why I customized my character. Now, um, that is my one drawback here. This is a very interesting thing about the game, which I'm going to show you here real quick. Uh, this is not too far into the game, to be completely honest with you. This is maybe about four hours into the game if you really play through it quite quickly. I'm about 20 to 25 hours into the game because I'm, I, like, I like to do all the side quests. The, the game is going to get you invested in the NPCs. The game gets you invested in the characters around you. Um, there's ballistic weaponry. Uh, there's they just fire regular bolts. Plasma, which is the energy weapon, uh, the energy uh, modifications we've seen in the AKA fire. There's electricity, and then there's also uh, corrosion. What's really interesting is now that you see that Ellie in the upper left hand corner, she's down. She's down for the count. Pravita, Pravita is about to go down here in just a second. When they go down, they're not dead, they're just down for the fight. You have to kill off everybody else in the fight. Once you kill off everybody in the fight, they will re resurrect. Um, each uh, weapon ammo uh, is defined as what you actually pick up, as well as, you know, ammo modifications. Uh, the, the ammo mod that I have on here, like I said, is plasma. And then uh, they do have, like, silencers on the weapons as well, too, but it's, it's, it's weird. I'm going to use my sniper rifle here. This is actually its time 6 scope, which I think is way more than a time 6. Uh, but the, the the scopes don't feel all that right, and oh look at that, everyone is dead. They they do resurrect. You don't gotta go over and stim pack them or whatever. Uh, I am playing on easy, and if you see in the upper left hand corner, I have 121 stim packs, or what this game is referring to as uh, adreno shots or whatever like that. Uh, I rarely ever had to use them throughout the game. This is like one of the very first times that I had to use it. Uh, so if you are like a, a veteran of the Fallout series, of the you know of the first-person shooter kind of uh, loot 'em up, uh, mass inf mass effect Andromeda, just just any game where it's a first-person shooter like like those, I would actually try to play on something more than normal because it the, the game is is nice. Like I have 123 uh, stim packs, if you will, here, and I'm I'm doing fine, and I think I maybe have used like 10 throughout the game. But this is gonna. This is what I really, really like about the game as well, too, is the 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 checks, uh, the skill checks, if you will. 
Um, the skills are actually pretty interesting uh, in the game in the beginning because you can kind of choose little paths to give you little bonuses. But if someone says, hey, and they run up to you, do not run away from them. What do you think Rule number one, doing? do not run away from them because the more you run away from them, the whole town, he's going to alert the whole town and whatever there. But as you can see, it says bribe, lie, intimidate, or persuade. They're all white. I can do all three of them. If they're grayed out, you can't do it because your skill is not high enough. And this is what I like about the game is that I just like, I don't, I, I, if, if, if it's in white, I, I pass the check. If it's not in white, I can't use it. So to me, the, the game is great just because I don't have to worry, oh, is my skill check going to give me a 20% of chancing this? Or does it give me 100% of chancing it because my charisma is not high enough, you know, like it is in Fallout 4. I like the fact that if my charisma check is 100 and the charisma pass is 95 i will pass it every single time i click through it now this is what i was talking about earlier where you can your, your little your npc people that, that you talk to will come into it but overall the game is great i like the way the game plays i i enjoyed the the play style of the game i would highly encourage you to get it, it it's just it's great the the only negative drawback is that you're a silent protagonist and the fact that you customize your character like, they're like, hey, do you want to keep your helmet on or do you keep your helmet off at all times even when you have it on? And I'm like, hey, everything off. I want to be bare bones minimum so that way when my character is introduced, I can see them. Well, you don't get to see your character throughout these these talking cutscenes, and I don't like it. Um, I like how the game really takes into effect the, you know, what you do in the game and how you play through it. Uh, like I accidentally killed one of the main, uh, protagonists in, in the early, early storyline, just kind of, cause it was like, let's see what fucking happens. And the NPC that was running with me actually reacts in a very interesting manner. So the game, like I said, they, they've taken a lot of the positives from, from games that are out there that people really, really like. They also take a lot of positives that people kind of wanted and threw it into a game with very little drawbacks that I've seen. So Obsidian Entertainment, I think you did a really damn good job on this. I know the game is not too old. As you can see I, in, in all the videos, I was running at like 160 FPS the entire time. And I have what some would call a mid, a mid tier or a mid or a, 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 at the low end of the, of the really, really good PCs that are out there. And I'm still running at 160 FPS. I just think that the way that they did the game is great and I like it. So I would highly encourage you to go out and get it. I would really highly encourage you to purchase this game and play through it. Uh, there, there's the, the video that I've showed you is not very spoiler heavy. The game is just fun. It's interesting. It makes you care about the side characters. It makes you care about a whole lot of stuff. So I'd highly, highly encourage you to go out, get the game, play the game, and just enjoy it. That's my two cents. I, I, I hope you like this little under 10 minute dive and... I'll see you guys on the next one when I finally pick up a new game and start investing time in that. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you on the next Level Up.